Okay, let's do an example of uh, finding a histogram of a simple image. So let's say we have a 100 by 100 image. The values in black here have the value 10. This inner square, which is 60 by 60, has the value 20. And this uh, very most inner square, which is 20 by 20, has the value 30. Okay, so let's take a look at the histogram of this. Okay, so I have my values of R. Um, let's say I go from 0 to, say, 255. And I want to find out what is the histogram. Okay, so I only have three values of R that have any non-zero counts. So uh, I have a 10. Uh, a 20 and a 30. So all other counts of R um, have zero. So let's do the 30 first. So that little region of 20 by 20, um, 20 times 20 is 400. So I have 400 pixels with the value 30. Um, the Outer, the next, the gray region, which is 60 by 60, so that is uh, 3,600 pixels, except I have to subtract off the 400 that are inside there, so I actually only have 3,200 values that are a 20. The 100 by 100, that's uh, 10,000, and I subtract off the 3,600, so I get a 6,400. So the sum of that equals uh, 10,000, which it should because it's a 100 by 100 image. Okay, so the probability function, I call it a PDF here, but it's probably better to call it a PMF or a probability mass function. So we simply divide by um, the total number of pixels, which is 10,000. So that means that the 6400 r equals 10 has probability 0.64. The 3200 the values of 20 have the probability 0.32. And the values of 30 have probability 0.04. The um, cumulative distribution function, call that capital F, we simply add up the probabilities from minus infinity to the current value. So we start out with 0, 0 is up to 0.64, it's 0.64 up until 0.32 and then we have a total of 0.96 so it's 0.96 up until value 30 and we have a 1.0. Okay. Then it retains a 1.0. Okay, um, the mean. So remember the formula used on the previous page is we sum over all possible values that can be taken on times the probability of that value times the value itself. So here again we have only three non-zero values the one for a 10, the one for a 20, and the one for a 30. So adding all that up, we get a 14. Similarly, we could do the computation for the variance, which um, says that we have to sum again over all these values of r minus mu. And if you do that computation, I believe you get a 32. Okay, so let's look at um, the use of histograms to enhance images with a technique called histogram equalization. Um, if we have an image, oops, 
that looks like this where the histogram is bunched up in one region that generally is a low a poor contrast image if the histogram is spread out like this that means we use all values of the output range and we have a, uh, a better contrast image so we want the histogram to be flat and that process of doing that is called histogram equalization so here's what we do we let the histogram be h so some value h of r we divide by the total number of pixels to produce um, p so this might look something like this now we want a transformation that will yield a flat histogram on the output image so if the values of the output image are s we want that probability to be flat and we want to come up with a transformation function that maps r to s let's call it function t of r and this function should be monotonically increasing okay so in other words we don't want reversals um, where a low value of r and a high value of r both map to the same value of s so we can um, I'm, I'm going to say what the result is basically if we use the oh shoot if we use the CDF of the input image as our transformation function that will achieve that result um, we we do have to multiply by L minus 1 where that's the maximum value in the output image because the remember the CDF ranges from 0 to 1 uh, whereas we want our output values to range from 0 to L minus 1 okay so just to see why that's true let's look at this so we're mapping r to s using some function the um, values of r in a range like this map to values of s in a range like this so those values that those areas essentially must be constant so um, we get that ps is equal to pr times dr over ds so dr over ds is the slope at that point here okay so if we let um, s equals that's our transformation function b l minus 1 integral which is the CDF now P of W DW and we take the derivative of that with respect to R we get um, okay so all of this that's a constant there this is just P of R DW so we just get um, L minus 1 P sub R of R okay so since I know from above that P sub S is P sub R dr over ds using the result we just got okay so it's 1 over dsdr okay so that's 1 over l minus 1 p sub r which is just 1 over l minus 1 so what this is saying is the output the output um, 
I'm sorry, the CDF of the output image is a constant. It's basically just a flat number like that. So some examples of histograms of poor contrast images and then the result of equalized images. You'll notice that the output histograms don't look flat, but that's because the bins here are not equally spaced. So we have widely spaced bins. There are only a few values in a, in a bin here. If those had been spread out like these, then we would have gotten a flat histogram. Just a quick example to see what that looks like in MATLAB. So I'll try this image. Um, so this image um, looks pretty good. There's a lot of values of gray here. Um, you can see that if I take the histogram of that. So um, these, these sort of mid-gray values probably represent the background here. Okay, so taking the histogram is MATLAB's function histEQ, and I'll assign that to another image. So this one, you can see a lot more detail in that, um, in this background here. So we've, we've used a lot of the values um, that were previously bunched up here. We spread them out in the background here.